With the weather changing, many of us either already felt sickly or know someone who has. It's especially common for kids to start feeling under the weather this time of year. News Channel 7's Claire Jones spoke with a pediatrician to learn more about when you should keep your sick child home from school and when you may want to head to the emergency room. It's about that time when the common cold becomes more common. Right now for uh, pediatric patients, we're seeing an uptick of RSV as well as influenza patients. Dr. Peter Hanna at Ascension Sacred Heart Emerald Coast in Walton County says there are more sick kids coming through the hospital doors. We've definitely had several patients who've needed uh, emergency attention, as well as several that have been admitted to our hospital for IV fluids, oxygen therapy, and breathing treatments. Despite the rise in hospital visits, Hannah says kids are resilient and often bounce back from these illnesses. These illnesses are very common. Most children will have at least one, if not two cases of RSV or influenza within their childhood. Like most respiratory viruses, the first signs will be cough and then may progress to mild shortness of breath as well as fever. While Dr. Hannah says a majority of kids who feel under the weather this time of year will end up being perfectly fine, it's still important for parents to know when to seek medical help. If your child begins having difficulty breathing, such as turning pale or blue in the lips, or begins using what we call accessory muscle use, such as muscles in the ribs or the belly breathing, then we need to see them in the emergency room or in their pediatrician's clinic. But even with mild symptoms, parents are often left wondering at what point do they keep their child home from school? If your child has a fever, if your child's vomiting or having diarrhea, uh, just being considerate of the other children that may be in your kid's class. And when in doubt, Dr. Hannah says it's better to be on the safe side. If there's any question if your child may need medical attention, that's probably a sign that they should be seen by a, a doctor or nurse practitioner. Most of those recommendations also go for adults. In Walton County, Claire Jones, News Channel 7. Dr. Hannah also says it's good to keep liquids like Pedialyte, Gatorade, or Powerade at home because the most important thing to do when you're sick is to stay hydrated.